X8, you have to set the head so they cut level. You'll receive maximum efficiency if you set the head till they're level. To do that, we're going to run the machine. We won't start it for this demonstration, but we'll give you an explanation. We'll crank the unit up. And then while it's running, we'll slowly bring the handle down. Then we'll slowly lower the unit until we see some dust come out the side. Then we know we've touched. Immediately after that, we'll raise the machine up and move it out of the way. This is what a... Right here you can see a very small partial pattern. When the heads come down like that, that means that you're touching on one side only. So in order to adjust it, there are four screws on the machine that lock the unit in place. We have two on the front, which you undo. You don't have to take them out, just loosen them up enough that the machine can go up and down. We also have two on this side. Again, we'll loosen them up three or four turns so the machine will float up and down easily. Next, you'll notice on the sides, we have two adjustment screws with lock nuts. In order to adjust the head, when it touches like this, we're going to want to raise this side of the machine so the other side touches first. To do that, we'll loosen the lock nut and we'll turn this screw down about one turn and we'll relock it. No need to lock up these side bolts until you're finished with the adjustment. Now when we go down another position, we're going to do the same procedure. Lower the machine, slowly drop it down until we see some dust, and we'll raise it up and move it out of the position. After we finish adjusting, we may have to go up with both of these, or down with both, or down with one and up with the other in order to get the head to cut a pattern exactly like this. It will look like a full crop circle. Okay, to get access to the cutters to examine them after cutting, or if you want to just inspect the cutters or replace the cutters, it's very simple to do. We raise the machine all the way up, take the up-down handle and crank it all the way down, Pull the pin out of the side. Make sure the tension adjustment is all the way backed off. And if you reach underneath, there's a pull pin that you can pull out to disengage the tension spring. After you disengage it, grab the handle, turn it, and you'll notice now that this is going to pull out of the machine swing to the rear a little bit and simply grab and lift. This exposes the cutters to work on them. One thing to watch for is when doing this, the gas tank will start to drip. You might want to place a, a, some sort of a metal container under the gas tank to catch the gas. And this should always be done outside so you don't have any danger of fire or explosion.
grab a broom and clean the, the work surface slightly. You'll see that down in this area, we removed most of the deep grooves. So right in here, we smoothed out the surface. If we keep going, we can smooth out the complete surface. Preferably by sweeping back and forth, you can increase the cut path.